the Canon RF 100mm f2.8 IS USM lens. Man, they make these names long. This 100mm lens is Canon's first macro lens to find its way into the RF lineup. Today we're looking at how this lens performs, taking portraits and of course macro photos as well. This lens is surprisingly big. It feels very well made though, but not very heavy. You can shoot up real close in at 1.4 times macro magnification, which is very close. It comes with image stabilization too, which is great news. This means of course, that you can get close up and personal with nature. Not too close maybe. Like any macro lens though, a tripod is always a huge help and is highly recommended to get super sharp photos, which this lens gives you because it's razor sharp. This is the same as well throughout the whole aperture range, delivering stunning image quality. You certainly don't have to rely on a tripod though to get sharp photos. You can shoot handheld here, like terri -Ann is showing and you can get beautiful, sharp results. Let's introduce Luna to test out the autofocus. This is my 11 month old, hyper energetic Springer Poo. Oh, quick tip to any beginner photographers watching this, make sure you get your settings correct before you start taking photos, which I didn't do. Let's try that again. The autofocus is rapid, hitting almost every single time. Okay, so this lens is super sharp. It has rapid autofocus and great image stabilization. Brilliant. Time now to introduce Canon's new SA control feature. When I first heard about this, I thought this sounds amazing. Control over the shape and look of your bokeh incredible. Every lens should have one, right? Wrong. It does change the look of your bokeh, which is cool. It gives you a nice dreamy feature to your photos as well. The problem is, dreamy is actually just very blurred. The first two points on each side of the SA control might as well not be there because they don't do hardly anything. And then it suddenly goes into hyper blur. I much prefer this crisp, sharp, gorgeous look you get when you switch the SA control off. So it leaves me wondering why Canon did this. If only they just made it into a bokeh control and nothing else. It would have been amazing. You may just love this. I have been sent a brand new 85mm f1.8 RF autofocus lens to try. Now I'm currently reviewing this and the video will be released in the next few days. So if you like the sound of that, hit subscribe. And if you're curious about it, you can then just watch this video in the next few days and see how it performs. On to portraits. Being a 100 mm lens, this focal length is perfect for portraits, giving you more breathing room when capturing your subject. Who's this clown? Oh, that's me. A 100 mm lens is also brilliant for headshots. Between 85 to 100 mm, gives you the closest to how you would actually see a subject's face with your eyes. Now at around £1,400, this lens may seem expensive, but I actually think you get a lot for your money. Compared with some of Canon's higher priced offerings from the RF range, it's on par with the 50mm RF 1.2 for image quality, and it also doubles up as a macro and prime lens. Now this is significantly less cost than that lens, uh, yet it is f2.8, so you are gonna sacrifice some stops of aperture. So if that's kind of important to you, then it's something you need to decide on. Overall, I think this is a stellar lens with incredible autofocus and optics, even if it does have a pointless feature. This can be completely ignored and doesn't take anything away from the overall quality of the lens. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this short review on the RF 100mm f2.8 lens. If you have, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.